Hey everybody, this is a video to show you old Naxxramas exploration. Uh, a lot of people think that this is a Northrend testing zone, however, I have a pretty sound theory, I believe, that disproves that and proves that it's just a vanilla map um, that Naxxramas was actually built on. So to prove that theory, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the different attunements that were needed in vanilla because at the end of this old Nax map there is a green raid portal and like a, a really weird looking clay model of uh, the Nax Ramus dungeon that used to float above EPL and I always had a theory that uh, Stratholme would be the attunement dungeon for this raid just like as you can see here this is a quick run through uh, Blackrock Depths and what you used to need to do was uh, basically run to the end of Black Rock Depths and then uh, take a core fragment and bring it to uh, the Blood Elf outside of BRD's entrance. And then he would attune you to Molten Core, so you no longer had to keep running this. So as you can see here, there's a green raid portal at the end of this dungeon, and this is the entrance to Molten Core. So again, this was an attunement run. The way it used to work in vanilla was there was a five-man dungeon that linked to the 40-man raid dungeon. And what I'm going to show you next is just another example of this. This is UBRS, Upper Black Rock Spire. You used to have to run this in order to become attuned to Blackwing Lair. So again, well, that was like a 15-man dungeon, but you only needed five people to get into it. So basically the same thing. Um, it was later retuned down to 10-man, just to make it a little bit easier in vanilla, because getting 15 people together in vanilla was could be a little challenging, especially for a run that used to take four-plus hours. Uh, and then after you would kill Ren Blackhand, you could see the entrance to Blackwing Lair. And all you had to do was kill uh, General Dracoseth at the very end, touch the orb, and you were now attuned. And you could just touch the orb outside of uh, the Blackrock Spire entrance, and it would just teleport you in. But you still needed to run this lower level dungeon, or this lower party sized dungeon, still ran it at 60, um, in order to attune yourself to the raid. Now, after Blackwing Lair, they came out with uh, Anchorage, and AQ didn't really have so much of an attunement as it did a, it was called the War Effort, and basically what you did was you donated uh, like rune cloth, herbs, ore, um, and it was a worldwide race to see what server could open it first. And eventually they just opened the gates on all the servers, but um, what wound up happening was as soon as you completed the War Effort, it would open up the gates and you could enter the raid. So there's really no 5, 10, 15 man dungeon that you would have to run in order to attune yourself. And I think this went over pretty well. Uh, people, including myself, think that this was the most epic event in Warcraft history. Uh, Blizzard even agrees with that, but they said that the reason they can't do it again is because the service could not handle having like 10,000 people in one spot, in one little zone, especially Silithus. I mean, Nobody ever went to Silithus back then. People still don't go to Silithus. People don't even know it exists. So it's they're, they're correct in saying that, but it was still a really cool time, and it was a really great thing that, uh, that went across all the servers. Now, when Nax Ramus came out, you simply had to get some materials together and pay a few gold, although a few gold back then was kind of hard to get. Uh, it took a while. And then you would attune yourself, and that was it. There was a platform in uh, a section of EPL. I forget what section it was called, but there's a platform there with an NPC. Give the money and the maths to the NPC, and he would let you use the teleporter, beam you right up to Nax Ramus, which was floating above this section of EPL. Now, I ran Stratholme plenty of times. Back in vanilla, I was a tank, so I always got to do it a lot. And I always noticed that there was a green raid portal at the end of Stratholme. And I always found this really interesting, and I always thought that it was the portal to Nax Ramus, which would make sense because Stratholme was overrun by Scourge. That was kind of like the Scourge stronghold after they invaded Lordaeron, and it would make sense that Nax Ramus would be a part of it because that's basically where the Scourge were manufactured most of the time, and that was that was where Kelthazad, you know, chilled out along with uh, you know Resuvius and all those guys, all those important lore. Uh, all those important, you know, people in the lore. But when they kind of came out with that cheap attunement, you know, cheap not as in gold price, but cheap as an effort where you just paid and you were attuned, I was a little disappointed and the portal was never actually used. 
You could never open the portacles that hid the portal. Um, it kind of sucked, and I didn't really like that. And I always wonder why they didn't actually use it. Um, but again, you could never actually go behind it until somebody found out that you could glitch yourself out of Nax Ramus. So in order to make this glitch work, all you have to do is get yourself an elixir of giant strength and some sort of speed boost. Uh, most classes in Mists of Pandaria have some sort of speed boost ability in their talents, usually it's the second tier. Uh, I'm doing this on my Paladin, and I'm using, honest to god, I don't even know the name of the talent because I never actually used it before, but it's a temporary speed boost. So what you do is you go to Saffron's Lair, as you can see here, you get stuck in this spot, you use your elixir of giant growth, and then you log out. You know, sometimes you can use a DC macro, but usually they don't work, and they can wind up uh, putting Blizzard on your case, and you don't really want that. So just log out, it does the same thing. You just have to wait 20 seconds, but luckily the elixir lasts a long time, so you don't really have to worry about it running out before you log back in. So log out, and then immediately log back in. Let it load up Naxxramas again. And then once it's loaded, you can now jump through the little ceiling that you're stuck under. Once you're here, I like to click off the Elixir of Giant Growth just so I don't hit my head on anything while jumping. Not that I think there's anything to hit your head on, but I just like to play it safe. So disable your Elixir, use your Speed Boost, and jump into the Great Beyond. And you will be outside of Nax Ramus in this very wintry zone. Now obviously, when Nax was moved in uh, 3.0 to Northrend, and people discovered this glitch. Everybody thought that this was like an alpha Northrend, but it really looks absolutely nothing like Northrend and looks a whole lot like Winterspring. Now, why Winterspring? Well, I have a theory and I think it's pretty sound. When you're in Nax Ramus, you can see your breath. Now you can only see your breath in cold environments in this game. There was only two cold environments that I can think of in vanilla. One was Winterspring and one was uh, Alterac Mountains. Now, Alterac Mountains was pretty small. It was more like a, a, a subzone of a zone. I mean, when they redid the map in Cataclysm, they actually got rid of it and just put it in Hillsbrad. So, when they were designing Naxxramas, I assume they just cut off Winter Spring. They literally sliced off a section of the map and just tacked it onto EPL. And when they built dungeons back in the day, all they did was take part of the zone that the, that the dungeon was supposed to be in, uh, cut it off, instance it and then build it on top of that this way when you would go into the zone like dead mines you could look on the other side of the portal and you would see the mine that you just came out of so it created this veil that this dungeon was literally a part of westfall so when they built nax they needed a cold environment so they simply just put it on top of winter spring but since there's really no windows in nax you never really know. You just think it's a cold environment, you're still in Eastern Plaguelands. And you are. Because as I'm going to show you right now, if you just uh, walk to the south of this area, you can start seeing uh, plague trees, although some people kind of thought that this should have been grizzly hills with these trees, but you can definitely tell that they're trees from EPL. So you walk south, you jump off a cliff, I bubble because you're not going to survive this without some sort of slow fall or a bubble. You could reincarnate when he dies a shaman but um yeah so you jump and then you're gonna jump down into an area that looks a lot like eastern plague lands now how do i know that this is the eastern plague lands well this is a subzone called the noxious glade i am very familiar with this subzone because this is where i first hit level 60 on my warrior back in 2006 I'm actually running along the same exact path that I was running when I killed my last mob. But as you can notice, the sky in this Eastern Plague Lands instance is blue. Now, why is it blue? Well, it's because it's actually the skybox from Winter Spring, which was the zone that uh, Nax was built on originally for that cold environment effect. Now, how do I know that this is a vanilla map? As you just saw, I was walking past an area where today, as a Breath of the Lich King, as well as Cataclysm Miss of Pandaria, there's a cave that the Death Knights use in their starting uh, zone quests that link 
the Acherus Zone with the Noxious Glade, and this is how they invade uh, Light's Hope Chapel. It's through that cave. That cave is not there. Therefore, this uh, instance of EPL is not an Alpha Northrend, it's simply a vanilla map of EPL. And as you can see, I just passed a lumber mill. I'm on my way to Light's Hope Chapel. This is a vanilla Light's Hope Chapel. Notice the positioning of the Griffin Master and the Wyvern Master. Um, as you can see, the, the, I forget what it's called, but like the Dead Scar or whatever that is, doesn't have water in it like it does in Cataclysm. It's uh, dry and empty. It's as much of a pain in the ass as it was back then um, when you get stuck in it. So, yeah, this is most certainly a vanilla map of Eastern Plaguelands and not an Alpha Northrend. This is the vanilla map that Naxxramas was built on. But like any instance weird type of map that you can glitch yourself into, there's no NPCs because this isn't actually part of the game. Although it is part of the game, but you know what I mean. It's it's part of the dungeon, so they didn't you know script any of the NPCs in there because they weren't actually supposed to be seen. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring through this instanced EPL, and I'm going to wind up in the uh, area where Naxxramas originally was, which I believe is Terrordale. I could be wrong, um, but I think that's what it was. Either that or it's like the Plague Wood or something like that. I honestly to God forget the name, but this is uh, the area where it used to be. Now if we look up in the sky, we can see the actual Naxxramas dungeon. Um, I'm gonna try at one point to try to glitch myself through that just to like see what happens But I'm pretty sure that when you walk when you click the frozen orb to teleport into Saffron's room It just simply teleports you from one side of the dungeon which was over EPL to the other side of the dungeon Which is over winter spring, so I'm pretty sure that's all that happens Now as you can tell whenever I open up the map It's a big green blob because this isn't actually part of a map not even the next Ramus map comes up and as you just saw, I walked through the portal, quote unquote, into what was Stratholm. Now, once I walked through the portal, I was dismounted. And you can do this for yourself. Uh, I don't have the audio on only because I had people on Skype and music playing, so you wouldn't be able to hear it anyway. But the background music for Stratholm starts playing as soon as you come in here. So you have that really low piano, the random breathing into a microphone that they play that scares the crap out of me to this day. And all the subsection names start coming up, such as King Square, um, and all the other ones, they, they do come up. All, all the porticulises do work, which I found really interesting. Some of them are still in their beta names, like Doodad, um, Zero Two Porticulis, uh, that comes up a lot. And the full instance is pretty much explorable, both the human side up to a certain point in that, uh, in that area, which is the, uh, like the Scarlet Crusade stronghold. Um, that's explorable up until I think like Balnazar's uh, area, like a few rooms before that. And then the entire undead area is explorable as well. Now there are no mobs in here because this is not part of Naxxramas. Uh, there are no um, NPCs such as the dude in the little uh, like chapel area near the back door. So you can kind of run through this as much as you want. And as you'll notice, it does look strange because, again, the skybox from Winter Spring is being used, so everything is big, bright, and blue, except the buildings are still on fire. But you don't have that charred uh, orange, black, and dark purple sky that is always uh, present in the regular Stratholm dungeon. What I'm doing is I'm just running through this entire dungeon, this entire instance version of an instance, because I want to see what happens when I go to that raid portal because as I walked through the regular blue dungeon portal nothing actually happened I simply just walked right into Stratholm uh, I didn't load the dungeon properly it, I just walked through it and whenever you come near those portals you can hear the whirring portal sound so I kind of thought that they might be active and it might just zone me into Stratholm but it doesn't you just walk through them and since all the doors work I figured why won't that final porticulus work because if this version of Stratholm was meant to be the attunement version of Stratholm, maybe it would work. And sure enough, I walk up to it, click it, it opens, I walk right through the raid portal, and then we see this.
for those of you who did not do NAX40 or weren't around in vanilla to kind of experience the attunement process or even see it, you wouldn't really recognize the platform that is directly under this funky clay model of NAX. And what that is, is it was a stage that held a teleporter with an NPC who you would pay, as I mentioned, to attune you to the dungeon. Now, it didn't exactly look out of place because, I mean, there was a bunch of weird shit going on in Terradale and uh, the Plague Wood uh, because of Naxxramas, so it didn't really look out of place, but it was kind of decorated differently than everything else because Nax did introduce some new textures. But it was kind of random just seeing this teleporter out there, like, why the hell is this there? Well, the reason being is because it wasn't meant to be there. They simply took it out of Stratholm and plopped it onto a hilltop right under Nax Ramus. Now, I am convinced that if you were to take away the skybox of uh, EPL and vanilla, you would see um, you would see the Nax dungeon floating above Stratholm and not where it was in EPL. Now, I don't know if we'll ever know this. We'd have to find out a way to get into an instance version of EPL. Uh, maybe we could do it with uh, Skolomance. I'll try that at some point. But yeah, so this theory that I had of that green raid portal being the entrance to Naxxramas is essentially proven by the fact that if you glitch out of Naxxramas and it brings you back to the vanilla map that it was originally built on, you go into Stratholm, you follow the path all the way through, and you walk through that green portal. Nax Remus is sitting right there, waiting for you to beam up into. So again, the theory is proven. I know that I'm not the first one to discover this, but I haven't really found any good explanations as to why this works, and as to why this actually exists. So to recap, Nax Remus was built on a vanilla map with a slice of winter spring on the top of it, to create the cold environment that was needed to uh, see your breath and uh, borrow some of the textures for the icicles and all that. Um, if you go through this, you could definitely see it's a vanilla map. You have the original Light Soap Chapel, the original Noxious Glade with no cave linking to the Death Knight starting zone with Acarus. If you walk through Stratholm, you can uh, see the skybox is bright blue. You can also kind of see uh, pieces of that clay model Nax in the sky from certain points. And once you walk through that green raid portal that is locked in all of the circumstances of Stratholm, you can actually see Naxxramas as it was originally meant to be. Now, if you have any other questions or any other theories, please feel free to post up in the comments. Um, and yeah, I'm really glad that uh, I was finally able to prove this theory and uh, really explain it to everybody for uh, what it was worth. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot.